coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Eagles get over first down 10 at their own 26-yard line. Great, 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 great. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. They run with a veteran here. It's Rashad Penny. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. They go play action with Hurts. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Burt sets up to throw it. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. Instead, it's fourth down. The Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. They're going to try and throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Throwing his hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold. scrimmage. Jalen Carter working his way back behind the line of scrimmage and dropping it for a loss. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot and there's just nowhere to go and in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. 
Up the middle, it's Vaughn. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They'll try and run for it with Vaughn. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Vaughn on first and ten. And he'll work down inside the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. A give running right is Vaughn. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second down and nine. Off the play fake, Prescott. They'll roll him out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. On third down, it's Prescott. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run with Pollard. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They'll try to surge ahead with Vaughn. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal for the two. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, an all-out battle on fourth and goal. Offense versus defense, and the offense won it. And I'm just wondering what was going through the minds of the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Were they playing the run too much? Were they not focused that the whole playbook was open in that situation? Give the offensive guys a lot of credit. I just wonder what the defensive guys were thinking. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And able to get this out to the 25. Great, great, great. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. 
now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Again, it's Penny. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. They'll try the right side here with Penny. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now. And he's carried the ball just five times. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to 7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. On first and 10, Prescott. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. On second down, it's Vaughn. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Staying on the ground with Vaughn. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Got to be careful here. They need to move quickly, but it's also fourth. Now Prescott on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Penny, a first down carry. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And they're going to speed things up here. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they have a first down and well into field goal range also at the 16 now. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Brown the motion man right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he is out of bounds getting it down to the 10. 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got Brown on the out route complete. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Across midfield, he's on his way. And he's in for the... Nigga, you was down 21-7. to seven. What you doing all that for? exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now right especially to the play caller give me the ball again <laughs> and again, <laughs> again and again it's not that heavy sir i'll take it point after right down the middle and that will take us to the end of the first half of play that's it for the first half two more quarters to go we'll have plenty more to see after the break We welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. But how about this land out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And the Cowboys are able to recover. A gutsy call there. Yates at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They're already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Third quarter starts with a run from Vaughn. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Again, a run with Vaughn. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. now Prescott throw complete right side to Colts another strong gain on the last two plays they've moved it a combined 33 yards well, this is a defense is definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago now the pass here sets its offense up first and goal they have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive this offense on the march that's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here we go, 46. 46. Again, it'll be Vaughn. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Here we go, here we go. Going to 
Prescott now. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. He's up to the 20. And finally taken down at the 26-yard line. It's a gain of 23 yards. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Inside handoff, Penny. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I think what we just saw there, Fred, it was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. 63-63. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. He's across midfield, down the right sideline, and he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there on the catch and run, 45 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more more big plays. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead now up to 14. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Bro, you're not going to get another run like that, I promise you. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Here's Prescott. And that will be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. 
It's caught inside the 25. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. And this is going to wind up being not just a conversion, but a play that flips the field as well. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock defensively. They have three timeouts, so do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Complete. Smith has it. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Uh, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. I thought I told you you'll never get another run like that. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Well, the defense circling now, fourth down and seven. Here's Vaughn. They'll run for it. And this is going to come up well short as they start. How you step far on me and you get hit back. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. This is first and 10. Here's Dak. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. Touchdown, Eagles! Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all out. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other I told you, you'll never get another run like that. They got lucky. Stop trying. Plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. A run with Vaughn out of the gun. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The safety position continues to evolve into a bigger role in run defense than in the past. They certainly love to have him drop down and get aggressive in bringing ball carriers down behind the line of scrimmage. Not many bigger stops than that one right there. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Running behind center with Vaughn. You will never get another run that way. What is wrong with you? Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Here's a 46. 46. Here's a handoff to Vaughn. You don't listen, do you? Pick up there and it leaves him with third and five. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. Prescott from the gun on third. He'll fire one in zone for Cooks. And this one drops in the end zone. Like a touchdown, but not to be, and now it's fourth down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. 
If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Eluding the pressure right. One last shot at the end zone. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one. Yeah. Is the last throw intercepted. And the Eagles come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.